Hi guys, welcome to My Goat Shed Life, where it's Funny Friday. Boy, it's been a busy Funny Friday here at the Goat Shed today. We put up a greenhouse and nothing flat. I may put some of that video in with this Funny Friday video. The video today is called Funny Friday and Some Flowers, and the, the joke has absolutely nothing to do with flowers. But before we get to all that... If you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell, ding -a ling so you'll get notifications of future videos. And give me a big thumbs up. Give me a big thumbs down, and then give me the reason why. At any rate, I, I may have mentioned before I live in Texas, and uh, I also love blue bonnets. So I had collected some blue bonnet seeds, and I still have some that I collected that I need to they're like little bitty beans and you break the blue bonnet seeds out of there and it's just about time to get started with these and what I usually do is soak them in a little bit of water in a plastic baggie for like a week or so um, sometimes two in the refrigerator and they'll soften up real good and that way they'll be sure to germinate the dogs are eat drinking they have water everywhere, and they're drinking the nastiest water they can find. What is it with dogs that do that? I don't understand. Anyway, I bought a package of 1,000 blue bonnet seeds, and it gives me this lovely information on the back about how to sow the seeds, and it talks about Texas blue bonnets. It says they'll thrive in full sun, and down under germination and growth, it says, your sunflower seeds will begin to germinate. What? I, blue bonnet. I'm re, I, I promise I'm reading this off the back of the blue bonnet. That my sunflower seeds will begin to germinate within 7 to 10 days after sowing. The plants will grow with varying mature heights from 1 to 7 feet. Now, I know we're not talking about blue bonnets, okay? I, I, these seeds came from... New Baltimore, Michigan. I'm sorry, Michigan. You have failed Blue Bonnet. Okay, so I got these little snack bags. And these are the seeds that I harvested from my crop. I'm going to put those in the bag. And then I'm just going to put just a few drops of water in there with them. And then they're going in the refrigerator. For about two weeks and then we're gonna use some of these Michigan blue bonnet seeds which thankfully when I opened them actually do look like blue bonnet seeds and not sunflower seeds <laughs> yeah and I'm gonna put a few of those in here and I've got quite a number of these so I'm gonna go ahead and put a good little bit and then in another week, I think I'm going to do this, repeat this process. And that way I ought to catch just the right time to plant these blue bonnets. And putting them in the refrigerator. This came today. Yay. This is a flower house dream house. And of course we bought it from Amazon. Now, I'm going to unbox it, and Martha's going to video it. Can you yell at me again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, it's going. Oh, yeah, it's going. Okay. Once again, Martha's the supervisor. You good at that? <laughs> I guess I could have got some scissors. Okay, I'm tired. <laughs> I've been, I've I'm been, done now. <laughs> it's okay. I'm typing your dog with a frisbee. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of editing on this. <laughs> Ta da! And we have another box. <laughs> yeah, yes. It's like those little dolls. When it's going. There it is. Flower 
house, pop-up greenhouse. Dream house, y'all. Dream house. You're gonna love this. What they do is they put it in this handy dandy bag in case you ever want to take it camping with you. <laughs> Ta-da! There it is. It's closed. I was going to say, it came with the spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> Not your clothes. If I have to take this thing out of one more container. <laughs> uh -oh. Are you ready? Oh. <laughs> Something that goes between them? Yes, ma'am. There they are. You're not helping. This is not you helping. Those are anchors, right? Uh huh. Scarlet, get off the greenhouse. Okay. These are the directions. We'll look at those in a minute. Okay. Step one, unpack the flower house and accessories. <laughs> You had to get to that to get to Allow that. Allow the spring steel bands to pop open. Okay? Allow them. We've allowed that. Uh, let's see what the next one says. It says, take fiber poles out of pack. Ta-da! Ta we're there. <laughs> and assemble completely. Ensure poles are fully seated into each other. You will have six L-shaped poles, four straight poles, and one straight pole with cross members. So, there's the L-shapes. We're going to assume that these bad boys are color-coded. There's red and green. And they're banded together. <sighs> now, the cool thing about these poles is they're already connected to one another. Now, I have to say, with my name being Lynn, I have never seen an L that looks like this. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. <laughs> Is that the roof line? I'm thinking maybe that's the roof. And more. But wait, there's more. Instructions kind of tell you what to do, you reckon? <laughs> There's always that. <laughs> okay. When in doubt. Install the side wall support poles. Hmm. Four straight poles. One straight pole with cross members. Install the side wall support poles. Install the side wall support poles. Oh! Y'all ready? I'm 
We're going in. <laughs> Oh no, it's going down on you. Are you talking to the poles? I think it's winning. No, it will not win. That's not look right. It does, it does it. <laughs> it looks like, it looks saggy. That one did. Huh? That one did, all right, but look at that one you just put I know, on. it's super duper. Like it's too long. In a very short span of time, he built a greenhouse. I'm not staking it down today. We'll leave the doors open. Hopefully, it won't blow across the pasture. <laughs> but I don't know what was that. Maybe 45 minutes to One an hour. set the whole thing up. I think it was harder to get it out of those boxes in the suitcase than it was to actually set it up. It was a bit of a struggle, but. Uh, Flower power. Okay, so there it is. Eight foot by eight foot. Mm. With regard to ease of setup, I'd probably give it a four. To grow some stuff this winter. Anyway, on to the joke. I'm gonna tell a really short joke. And really, I don't mean to offend anybody. There was this atheist, and he was swimming. He's doing the backstroke in this beautiful lake. And all of a sudden, this monster comes out and grabs him and takes him and shakes him like 20 feet in the air. And he says, God, help me. And God says, I thought you didn't believe in me. He's like, dude, God, give me a break. Five minutes ago, I didn't believe in the Loch Ness Monster either. You guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon.